Nolajan here in Orange Beach, Alabama at the wharf here at Jenny Lane. Good stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nolajan. Let the good times roll. Join us at Jenny Lane Bar and Grill at the Wharf in Orange Beach, Alabama for our restaurant review videos of good places to eat in Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, and the Gulf Coast. The Wharf is an interesting area that includes a marina, condominium complex, shopping mall, and an amphitheater, making it quite an entertainment venue. Jenny Lane Bar and Grill is one of several restaurants in the Wharf located at 4851 Wharf Parkway, Suite 106. Many people rate Jenny Lane as one of the top places to be during football games in Orange Beach and even Gulf Shores, Alabama, as they have a great sports bar vibe along with nice food and drink specials. Jenny Lane Bar and Grill has steak, seafood, appetizers, desserts, and cocktails, along with hosting live music. When doing your Gulf Coast vacation planning, make sure to look at Jenny Lane as one of your dining in Orange Beach and Gulf Shores options for a fun spot that has more of a sports bar atmosphere than many of the other restaurants in the area. If you're looking for a fun dining experience in Orange Beach, this is a great spot to eat and drink in the Orange Beach and Gulf Shores area. Your trip to the Gulf Coast could certainly use a visit to Jenny Lane Bar and Grill in Orange Beach during your visit. I have eaten at Jenny Lane Bar and Grill one time before back in 2019 and I had a really good experience. It's just there's so many other places to go to, I haven't been back since then. So I've got to get a good lunch in today because I'm going to be meeting my pal the Major out here later this afternoon and we're going to have a lot more videos exploring this area of Orange Beach. So let's go ahead and head on inside here and check this place out. So as you walk in, you can immediately see this is a rather larger venue. So they have about half the space set up as a bar and the other half set up as a sit-down restaurant. So we do have some pool tables in here as you see. So you can have some traditional bar fun and here's our bar area and if we walk all the way to the back, they have a fantastic outdoor patio area. And then you're right next to the marina and you can see all these beautiful boats. And there's the patio area, and there's multiple other patios for a lot of other restaurants and bars in the area as well, too, that we will be exploring in future videos. So, depending on the weather, you certainly might want to enjoy this beautiful back area, and even if it's not the nicest weather and too hot or too cold, you can enjoy the view, for a little bit at least. Now, I'll be eating inside today, and as we walk back inside past the bar, we're still waiting for our table here in the front. So they do have a nice little video game space as well. And here's the exact front of the restaurant. They have a lot of their awards posted. And here's the hostess station. So they told us it would be about a 30 minute wait and they have some t-shirts back behind here too. Ultimately we got in in a faster time and it only took about 15 minutes to be seated. So that's always a bonus when you don't have to wait as long and you can see they have quite a large dining area this entire half of the restaurant all the way from the front all the way to the back it's full of tables booths and more dining space in the rear patio area so let's take a look at the menu it is a sunday so they gave us the brunch menu to start with we have a southern style eggs benedict Cajun omelet, steak and egg, southern comfort, which is sausage, gravy, and biscuit, two eggs, slink sausage, and cheddar grits, shrimp scampi, pecan encrusted chicken, kicking chicken, shrimp and grits, oysters, order of eight with a choice of baked bacon and cheddar, baked Cajun Rockefeller, baked sampler duo, soup and salad with roasted portobello, shrimp and tomato salad, blackened chicken garden, fried oyster Caesar, pecan and pear salad, seafood gumbo, and starters, there's peel and eat shrimp, Braised short rib nachos, cheese plates, spinach artichoke dip, fried green tomatoes and blackened shrimp, and desserts are bread pudding, lava cake, and key lime pie. Then we have the adult beverages with a selection of wine, cocktails, and beer. Then we have their regular menu to look at as well. So we have appetizers with peel and eat shrimp, pig wings, spinach and artichoke dip, fried green tomatoes and blackened shrimp, braised short rib nachos, cheese plate, crab cake, and we have our sides of french fries, mashed potatoes, green beans, shaved brussels sprouts, cheddar grits, cucumber salad, glazed carrots, risotto, fried okra, 
then baked oysters, eight per order, with baked bacon and cheddar, baked Cajun Rockefeller, baked oyster duo, soup and salad with pecan and pear salad, Asian chicken salad, roasted portobello, shrimp and tomato salad, caprese, Caesar, garden salad, and seafood gumbo. Then we have sandwiches with black and fish tacos, Jenny Lane burger, shrimp po' boy, grouper sandwich, oyster po' boy, lunch entrees with six ounce New York strip, pecan crusted chicken, shrimp and grits, shrimp scampi pasta, fried oyster platter, pan seared fish, and then $10 lunch specials with meatloaf, fried shrimp platter, kicking chicken, chicken scallopini, and fried pork chop. And then desserts, which are the same as on the brunch menu with bread pudding, lava cake, and key lime pie. It's a lot of overlap between the brunch and regular menu. So they have live music and the performance is right in front of a mural of the New Orleans French Quarter because hey, hey we're always almost in New Orleans everywhere it seems. They also had a Christmas tree up there, so I guess we're also having a little Christmas time in the middle of September as well, so it's always a holiday in here. Their ceiling has some interesting lighting designs if you look around, and then you're right next to the kitchen here in the dining area as well, so it's always fun to look over there. And then if we go upstairs, they have bathrooms up here, and you can get another view of the whole restaurant, so it's always fun to get different perspectives of different areas. All right, we've got a bread basket that's arrived, so let's sample some of this stuff. And we've got a nice herb butter here. So this is a very nice looking roll. Let's go ahead and uh, give it a little butter treatment. So we're gonna do a little surgery here. Ooh, ho, 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 ho. look at this nice butter. Got some nice herbs inside of it. So they definitely make a very nice butter. Now I see they have Yahoo Ramen Tacos, which is another restaurant down the street. So I have to assume that the same people that own Jenny Lane also own Yaho Tacos. But maybe they just borrowed the uh, wrapping paper. But probably the same people own it all, I would guess. So if you know that for certain, comment below. Let us know if the same people own both restaurants. So we've got a beautiful bread and butter combo. Let's take another bite. Oh yes, the bread and butter flavor that you crave. It's very nice. During my last visit here back in 2019, I got the delicious baked oysters here. And then I also had the shrimp scampi, which was also very nicely done. For this visit, my dining companion got the fried chicken, which looks really nice. And then I opted for the steak and eggs from the brunch menu. So let's dig in here and give it a try. Of course, I've got to add a little Tabasco sauce to my eggs because your scrambled eggs must have Tabasco. I've always got to have my Tabasco sauce with my eggs or I don't feel right. Okay, so these uh, potatoes are a little undercooked. I can already tell they're really kind of hard and uh, I'm not sure how they're going to taste, but let's sample it. And yes, unfortunately, they are not cooked all the way and they're kind of hard and not easy to eat. Now the scrambled egg sample here looks like it's cooked perfectly and nice. It is nicely cooked. So the eggs are nice. Now let's see the green beans here look like they are also cooked nicely. So we'll give a sample and oh, so yes, they are exactly the way I like them. They are crunchy and crisp. So they are at the perfect level of being cooked, but not overcooked so that they're mushy. They're perfectly crisp and crunchy the way I like them. Never had a biscuit here. So let's give this a little taste. I'll put some of the butter on there. I wish I had some jelly though. Would've been nice to have a little jelly on top as well. So the biscuit is good. So definitely a nice biscuit. And this steak was really tough. They didn't give me a steak knife at first, so I had to wait around for quite a while before I got a steak knife and could slice it. A butter knife was not cutting it. So the steak is uh, not the most tender. It's a little on the tough side. I got it medium rare and it's definitely not the easiest steak to eat. It's a little more on the chewy side, so it's not completely the worst, most tough steak I've ever had, but it is uh, definitely not on the tender side. It's, uh, it's an okay flavor. It's juicy still. Now the eggs are probably the star of the plate of food so far. 
These potatoes I probably should have sent back and got them cooked more. But I've got a very tight schedule because I'm meeting the major here shortly and we have a lot of activities to engage in. I'm gonna need a lot of food in my stomach for these activities as you will see in future episodes. So the major was uh, trapped in Germany for a year deployment and he is ready for some fun as the majority of his deployment he was unable to do anything because they had very strict lockdowns where he could not do very much unfortunately so this breakfast brunch dish here um i don't know if i would get this again simply because of the steak but you know these days with everything going on and supply chain issues this might not be the regular quality steak it could just be the steak they could get so the green beans are done perfectly, the eggs are perfect, the uh, potatoes definitely need a lot of work and need to be cooked more <laughs> because they're way too hard and undercooked. The steak is uh, on the chewy, tougher side. You definitely need a steak knife to slice it. The uh, eggs certainly are better with Tabasco sauce, as always, and also put a little pepper on there as well because, hey, a little pepper and Tabasco makes everything better in life, I think. So, um, ultimately, I think I will mainly be happy with the eggs and green beans, and uh, I usually am happy with this piece of steak no matter what, but this piece of steak was not the uh, joy I was hoping it would be. It was definitely a lot of work to slice it and chew it, and uh, the flavor was decent, the juiciness was decent, but the texture was definitely quite a lot chewier than any steak I've had in a while, actually. So I've not had a steak quite this chewy in quite a good long time. So I literally got a yin-yang half and half plate. So half my food was tough with uh, potatoes and steak, and then the eggs and the green beans were nicely cooked and very delicately prepared so they were perfect to the palate and the uh, biscuit maybe puts it over the edge the biscuit was good too so if i count the biscuit in the mix it was uh overall better but the two main components of the show here i mean the steak and potatoes are the main event they are literally the meat and potato aspect that men crave. It's what we have to have to function properly. So they are the headliners. This is just like, you know, Elvis showed up to the show and he was too sunburned to sing or dance or do any of his other fun performance moves. And all he could do was just kind of stand there and hum a little bit. So this is kind of disappointing because I love some good steak and potatoes, but not for this meal. It was definitely not my favorite meat and potatoes experience. So we've got one last bite of steak to take down and it's better to have tough steak than no steak. So just like I destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you thought about this steak and eggs. And while you're down there, would you kindly check out the link to my Patreon account because I do work for tips and I appreciate any assistance with that. The bill arrived and the total for two people was $30.79 before tip. So thanks so much to everybody at Jenny Lane Bar and Grill at the Wharf. And although my visit this time was on the more mediocre side, my visit prior in 2019 was fantastic. So we do have to take into account the strange times we're in now with supply chain issues and staffing issues ongoing. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning in to the Nolagent channel, especially to my Patreons. And if you could just remember to share this video with any of your friends or contacts, that really would help me. So tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you would just click on the little circle here with a picture of my head in there and subscribe to the Nolagent channel, it would really help me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thank you.